reached the white speech confession. Good evening, bitches. 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 Hey, who the fuck who you is, boy? Get the fuck out of my life. You're showing your cunt plans. Why would you believe any of that? Well, man, the, the gentleman, he, he's the... The gentleman? Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. You need to learn proper masturbation skills. I wish your car was at my lot. I would have to fuck you up so man. God bless you. It's morphin' time. Morphin' time. Lawsuit time. Loser. Inappropriate. I'll yeah, fuck you to you! Wait, you we'll... fucking god fuck her! I'll call this number again! We're gonna call a uh... Well, I see the chick from my fucking head right now, and I'll fucking put a knife in your fucking throat. Mm, fuck yeah. Look, you piece of car, No, I didn't, brother. Your mom sent the hell out of the benefit truck. Uh, come right this mom. Gathering around to make a prank call. Wow. Your fucking wife loves it when I check her meter. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a Kohler faucet <laughs> shoved right up your ass. I just got done blowing my boy Dwight and shit. Well, if you were doing your job, ma'am, and you would, you would walk into that room right now and pull out his pants and start jerking him off and showing him. Oh, you fucking dick. Did you say that to me? You fucking asshole. Keep it down. Just Savannah. Hi, Savannah. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Not bad. I got a little predicament here, though. Okay. Uh, I You know the pool, right? I do. It's it's closed. How am I supposed to go pee? But the pool is closed. Yeah, the doors um, are, the doors are shut, and I have to go pee. Uh, like the restrooms in the pool area are closed. No, no, no. The pool itself. Oh, the pool itself. It's key card activated, so you have to use your guest room key to open the door for the pool. Yeah, but I don't know where it's at. And I have to I have to pee. I have to pee in the pool. Um, no, sir. Please don't pee in the pool. Well, I have to go pee. What am I supposed to do? May I ask who's speaking? Yeah, my name is Drew. Drew? Uh, What's your last name, Drew? Uh, you... It's peacock like the bird. Don't laugh at me. Mm. Oh, I found my key and card. And what's your new room number? Hang on, I just found my key card. I'm gonna open this. Okay. Oh, I'm in. Oh, fine. I'm gonna go pee in this pool real quick. Oh, hang, hang on. Sir. Huh, what? This is Jack. How can I help you? Jack! How do I get into the pool yes, area, man? Oh, yes, sir. That's going to be on the fourth floor, sir. You should be able to use your key card to get into the doors. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, and the key be... card's giving me a hell of a problem. Like, i got to go pee like nobody's business. Oh, I do, Paul, this, sir. Um... I would. I'll double check with my one of my engineer guys to make sure the lock is working okay. But we do have some rest, uh, restrooms on the fourth floor as well. Uh, no, I, 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 it stems from when I was a kid, and I used to go to the pool all the time. They had a public pool, and like I would just go over there and go pee because our bathroom never worked at our house. And now the only way I can go to the bathroom is if I get into a pool. Oh, uh, I, I do apologize. For that. Uh, sir, uh, in that case, let me go ahead and double check with my security team. Make sure the pool doors are uh, fully open yeah. and they're fully working. Yeah, because I got I got to urinate like like nobody's business. Understood, sir. What's, uh, the, moment, what's, the, get... what's that lady complaining about behind you? Says eh, this is not fair. What's her problem? I got to pee in a pool. Uh, and she's it, back here it, whining. <laughs> no, sorry. There's actually unrelated note. We're um, we're having kind of like an inner office Netflix de- Hulu debate. So, <laughs> oh, what's the debate? Uh, uh, basically, we're just trying to figure out uh, what's the better service and a debate about um, parents versus children having to pay for the subscription. You, you so. have to go with Hulu because they have commercials of Driftwood Dan. That is true. I he's, didn't he's, that a good, he's a good guy. And then Kendall Ford. There's a Ford company. They're a Ford. They're out of Alaska. And they do commercials that make it sound like you're going to get fucked if you buy a truck. <laughs> by, some, by some hooker named Kendall Ford. But that's the name of the business is Kendall Ford. <laughs> oh my! God. I am 
definitely going to remember that. Thank you so much, sir. Look it up. Go to YouTube and look up Kendall Ford and find them commercials. And Dan Sullivan out of Alaska, too. He's a senator or something. He's got crazy commercials that he ran during his last re-election. It was all over Hulu. So, Ford and Sullivan on Hulu. I'll yeah. definitely check Kendall that out. I'm, like, I'm not sure if I can... Yes, sir. I'm not sure if I can YouTube that right at the moment because I currently am still at work, but let me go ahead and check on the pool doors for you, sir. Okay, no, while you're checking on that, can you put me on the phone with the girl that thinks Netflix is better? <laughs> I think she's actually about to speak with another guest, sir, I'm afraid, but I'll, I'll be more than happy to relay the message, sir. Okay, you relay that to her because that's ridiculous. Yes, she, sir. She probably I'll watches Stranger and... Things or something, thinks it's so cool. <laughs> More, more than likely, sir. But yes, I'll be more than happy to relay that message, and I'll have someone check out the pool door, sir. All right, make it happen. My pleasure, sir. All right, bye. Norte, this is Alan. How can I help you? Hi, Alan. Uh, I'm in the locker room currently, and okay. I'm not noticing any lotion in here. Any lotion? Yeah. Sure. Um, one sec. Let me. Uh, there should be some lotion have- in here, right? I'm not, I'm not too sure here. Let me um, put you on hold real quick, okay? Oh, okay. I suppose. One sec. Sorry about that. That's fine. Hi. So I just spoke with my manager, and we don't normally keep lotion in the locker room. Okay. Sorry about that. Why? Um, was it the indoor locker room or the outdoor locker room? Not the indoor. The indoor. Yeah. Okay, I could take a look. Um, we it might be something that we may be running empty on. But yeah, I can go ch- uh, check real quick. Yeah, okay? well, I'm, I'm just getting a lot of friction here, a lot of a lot of chafing. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I just th- this is probably some of the roughest masturbating I've ever done without some lotion. This is just a lot of dry, a lot of dry rubbing. I mean, if there was wood around, there would probably be a fire. Okay, I'm sorry about that. One sec. Okay. Let me put you on hold real quick. All right. Hi, we're sending someone over there right now. And okay, are they going to give me a hand? Attack. No, they're not. They're just, they're going to see what's just going around that area. Well, I told you I'm a masturbating. In the indoor or outdoor locker room? I told you indoor. Indoor? Okay, yeah, we're sending someone over there. Not to not to help you, but... They're not, they better just, not be asking me to leave because I pay my membership dues. One sec. All right. Who the fuck are you checking with? I have to keep being put on hold. I only have one hand here. She okay. One sec. All right. Morning. Yes. Hello. Hello. I'm glad you answered. Been calling for a while. Okay, sir. What? May I help you with? Well, I need some new sheets and uh, maybe a new comforter in here. What room, sir? I'm over here in, uh, what is this, 115? I'm a number 15. Okay, may I ask why you need new sheets? I'm just asking because... Oh, it's, it's because I was hungry earlier and I didn't have any money. I spent the last little bit of money I had to pay for this place and so I started eating my sheets and so now I need some new ones. You started to eat your sheets. I started eating them. I had some little salt packets that I got from McDonald's. I had some salt and pepper, and I put it on the sheets, and I started eating it. I got some hot sauce. I got some fire Sir, packets. Do you know what hotel Bell. you're at? What? Do you know what hotel you're at? Of course I do. What's the name of it? Oh, I'm over here at the Alamo. I'm just asking okay. if I can get some new sheets. I'm about a quarter of a way through the comforter. I don't do pillows, though. I'm going to have to go check the room first if I can do anything. What do you mean you got to check my room? Well, i got to check to see what you've done to it. I told you. I started eating my sheets, and I'm in about a quarter of a way through my comforter. Well, sir, i got to check first before I can give you anything. Just bring me some new sheets. No, sir. You bring me, the, you bring me what you ate over here to the front, and then I'll give you new sheets. Okay, well, what do you want me to do with the sheets? Because the sheet's gone. I got part of the comforter. We'll bring the comforter up front and I'll see, sir. Okay, but I'm going to keep it because I'm going to finish eating it eventually. 
All right, I'm just I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this gathered up. You, I'm gonna be up there. You have you have my goddamn sheets and comforter ready. Hey, 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 hey! I'm not cussing at you, sir. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, have it ready. Can I help you? Yes. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Which channel is the adult selections on in this room? Uh, I don't think we have any. Okay, because I'm I'm flipping through and it just seems to be a lot of football on. I, w- I was looking. Yeah, for I don't. We don't. We don't have that option. Oh, do I have to pay extra? No, no, it's just not available even to purchase. Oh, I can't even purchase it. Yeah. Hmm. That's not going to work for me. Uh, is there any like adult shops or viewing places around here? Someone that like something may sell DVDs. I don't know, sir. To be honest. With okay, because I know Walmart doesn't do that, but I figured yeah, being from I, the area. So you're saying you don't think anybody has any adult, like adult viewing options or anything? I have no idea. Ah shit. Okay. All right. Um. What channel? What, 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 what channel is Nickelodeon on? I don't know. Hmm. Thank you. Have a good evening. Nickelodeon. Okay, see, talk about it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, how are you? I, listen, I'm in the restroom right now, and there's a sign up here that says employees must wash hands. I've been waiting for like a half an hour for somebody to come in here and wash my hands for me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. I'm trying to follow directions. You guys put signs here. I've been sitting here, and I'm waiting. Where's the guy that's supposed to be in here to wash my hands? It says employees with the S at the end. Employees, yeah. Well, okay, so there's supposed to be two of you? Employees must wash your hands. That's, re- that's right. reminding us as employees to wash our hands. Okay, but who's washing my hands then? Uh, if you're an employee here, you can wash your hands. But no, if I'm, you're I'm, not, re- you I'm have reading your it right now. It says right here. It says employees must wash hands. So like I'm sitting here and I'm waiting for somebody to come wash my freaking hands so I can leave. <laughs> I don't want to be trespassed. I like coming to this place. <laughs> All right. Anything I don't else? Know what you're chuckling about? I'll go. Uh, I'll say somebody to wash your hands if you like. Okay. What's this other sign that says employees must wash genitals? Oh my god, bro. Oh god. Who's, coming, I gotta go. who's coming to wash my genitals? KFC Taco Bell. Yeah, hi, how are you? The last lady hung up on me. Oh, she couldn't hear you. We oh. apologize about that. Oh, that's that. no problem. I went through corporate and I booked this location, the lobby, uh, and they told me to call ahead to make sure that the lobby was cleared out. So that our group could come in. So your crew can come in. Yeah, yeah, we got a we got a group of about thirty people that are coming in. We reserved the whole lobby. One second, okay. okay. What time y'all supposed to come? Uh, well, we're supposed to be there in about fifteen minutes, but we reserved the whole okay, lobby. Okay, hold on, okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry, can you put that again? Yeah, yeah. No, We went through uh, uh, corporate and we reserved the whole lobby because there's about 30 of us coming in. They just told us about you know, 15, 20 minutes before we come in to make sure uh, and call and see that the lobby was cleared. Um, well, our lobby was closed in, like, in a couple of minutes. Yeah, well, that's why, because we reserved it. They said that it will be fine after the normal lobby hours that we could come in and do our shooting in there. Because we're going to do some filming. Hello? Hold on, one sec. All right. Because i got to uh, call my, uh, my GM before I... Yeah, well, we're just coming in. We're going to shoot the film. And we just needed a restaurant scene is all. Because the local hotels won't let us shoot in there anymore. Well, how long is this going to take? Because we're on the way. Well, our lobby is supposed to close in at 10. Right, but we're sh- we're shooting a uh, an artsy type college uh, film school type film in there. So 
So we're going to have all the tables just slammed, just booked. They're all going to be sitting around, and they're going to be having a conversation while we have this nice Hispanic girl and this white man, and it's about a love story where one's a Trump supporter, she's an illegal, and he's torn between his love for her and his love for America. And they're going to get into a passionate argument, and then they're going to make up, and they're going to kiss, and they're going to fuck on the tables. And all the people are going to cheer them on, like, because love conquers all. Is this some sorry jokes, eh? No, sir. I, I mean, it's a nice film. If you want to stay, like, behind the counter and watch, because we're not going to film towards the kitchen area or the prep area. But if you want to watch, like, we appreciate an audience and some feedback. Um, no, sir, I'm afraid I can't do that, Bob. Well, it's not up to you. We talked to corporate. Corporate okayed everything. No, I don't, I don't believe that, sir. You don't believe what? That, no, that, I, that I an illegal Hispanic that. and a Trump supporter can be in love? You're trying to tell me that the story doesn't make sense? <laughs> oh, bad, sir. Because corporate said it's fine as long as the CEO gets to get in on it. A little paprika. You can, you can make your own fucking chili shit. I've already got a pack. Hello? Hello? Sorry, Hello. I, was, I was yelling at my brother. He didn't fucking put the chili seasoning in the chili. So I had to yell at him. But uh-huh. this, that's David, right? This is David. Oh, good, good. What can I do for I'm you? I'm calling about the concrete. Oh, great. I, I need to pick up... I, I. How much is there? Like, if you had to guess the poundage, like, wh- how, what are we looking at? Poundage, I'd have probably have more. I could probably give you an estimate of the uh, cubic feet if I take a quick look. I think my wife did a pretty good job with the photos. Yeah. The average piece is probably about six inches by six inches. Okay. Um, but there's some that's smaller. Yeah. They, no, they look about the size that I need. Because uh, I, mm-hmm. I recently moved in and I didn't know that the land I bought was apparently it was either is or used to be an Indian burial ground. Like, they, they can't confirm if there's still bodies, I guess, in the ground. Uh, but I want to put these, I don't know, around the area, make, like, a big circular, like, area to try to keep people out. Because I, I don't want them going in there. Because I don't want them to, you know, mm-hmm. bury a cat or something, then it comes back. Uh, so I want to try to get as much of this rock as I can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that this is Hawaii, right? <laughs> yeah, I know I'm in Hawaii. There's no Indians here. <laughs> you're saying in- Indians? Sorry, I just had to laugh about well, the Indian I'm, burial I'm ground. You, you don't you don't think Indians knew how to row boats? <laughs> you know they built canoes out of, <laughs> out of logs. They're pretty ingenuitive people. This is true. Yeah, but, but I, I think Kamehameha probably would have killed them and eaten them. Who would have? <laughs> you know I'm Jurassic so sorry, Park wasn't so real, fun. right? <laughs> of course it was real. <laughs> From your lips to my ears. Jesus. <laughs> you ever go play in yeah, the world is flat. Yeah, uh, Everyone knows the world is flat. You can tell because when you pour concrete, and it's self-leveling concrete, it always levels flat. It doesn't Holy level shit. around. Do you, uh, you listen to the David King podcast too, don't you? <laughs> I've never run into another person to listen to that shit. Are you going to PayPal him a few dollars so he can get no, the electricity? No, I just made that up. I just made that up. Oh. But if you want some concrete, you can. We would love to have you come and get it. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I want to get this stuff. Actually, what I'm trying to do is I've got uh, I got an old pool that I that is an above ground pool, but I'm just I'm going to fill it up, yeah. and then I'm going to try to repurpose the concrete. I'm going to try to smash it into a powder and try to recreate some concrete. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. It makes good fill anyway. Yeah. So, well, though I talked to a friend that, that was on the mainland, and he had a uh, below ground pool, and he said that he had to try to get rid of it because mm-hmm. his insurance rates were just too fucking high. And so he said he mm-hmm. just got a bunch of concrete and fill, like dirty fill that wasn't that clean dirt, just pushed it, just push it all in there, and then he covered it up and he put some sod mm-hmm. or something down. Yeah, you just yeah, dirty. You put the dirty fill in, and then you pour the concrete over it, and it extends the volume. Right. A lot cheaper than bags of concrete. Oh yeah, you're you're telling so, me. me I, I tried to get one truck 
uh, one time when I was over there, and they wanted something like three hundred dollars a truck, and I was like, Jesus Christ! And they said it was gonna take four or five trucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, I got a the first section of it here is probably about on average a foot wide, uh-huh. uh, maybe a foot and a half high, and ten feet long. Ten feet long. That's probably a foot by a foot by ten foot, which is about ten cubic Damn. feet. What'd you tear down? Um, Trump's wall. Uh, some old sidewalk oh. stuff. Also, a uh, prior owner of the property uh, um, had got a bunch of uh, concrete fill and used it to to find a flower bed area. Oh, and it just was ugly. Yeah, I, I can imagine that's pretty ugly. You could use. He was trying to do use, a, some, use yeah. some brick anyway, papers or something. It, what's that? I said they could have used some brick pavers. It would have looked a lot better than concrete. Yeah, exactly. Then there's another section here, probably about five feet long, and five, but maybe another five, another five cubic feet, maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd say we probably have between, probably someplace between twelve and twenty cubic feet. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Um, well, I'll text you, and uh, is there a certain time of the day that's better to come out and get it? Or We're generally available, although uh, it's better if uh, you do it sooner. Okay, all right. So, well, let me text you, because i got to get a hold of a truck. How soon are you available, and where are you coming from? Uh, well, I'm going to be coming from Honoruru. Uh-huh. And I have to get a truck. Okay. And I don't know if they'll rent me a truck because I don't have a license, so I gotta go talk to Miguel and see if we can use his Tonka. I see. <laughs> he works a lot. It though. sounds like you're having a good day. I am. I'm having a hell of a day. Uh huh. Uh huh. You like to yeah, say? I don't know about you those like Tonkas, say, huh? though. They're made in Japan, you know, and you gotta wonder about the quality control of Japanese products. Uh. Well. Yeah. Japanese products, that's that's always a question. It seems like they're only good for I think I'd get the Tinker Toy truck. That's a what truck? <laughs> the Tinker Toy truck. Yeah, to, well, no, Toyota, 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 makes Toyota makes it. Toyota makes it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, it's all good. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah, so if, if you if you got a vehicle, someone to come haul it away, uh-huh. uh, get in touch with us, let us know. Oh, all right, sounds good, uh-huh. Okay. All right, uh-huh. And <laughs> Have a funny day. Oh, you too, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, bye. bye. You're not pulling a real green beast unless you're laying naked with a hat covering your dick with a Guinness in your yeah, hand. Green beast, we're going to take those pictures like that, man. We're going to uh, have oh. everyone leave, like go at least go upstairs, and then you can lay across that bar, and then done deal. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing we're gonna do, that. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> no. It's gonna be magical. It's gonna be your new. Tin- make you feel it's gonna be his new Tinder uh, pictures. There we go. <laughs> you know how, if, dude? That would be awesome if I got you a shit ton of dates or something. It's like, oh my god! I saw how confident you were. <laughs> <laughs> you would just do that? Wow. Uh. He fucking captions it down there. Been getting my workout on. <laughs> Seeing gains like a motherfucker. Oh, God damn it. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm good. How can I help you? Not bad. I have a question about my room. Where in here is the best place to take a piss? The bathroom? Well, the bathroom is kind of uh, out of order right now, so I'm looking for alternatives. What room are you in? I'm in 115. 115? Well, that's generally what 115 is. I'm just asking if this is 115 or 150, because I cannot hear you clearly. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. 115. Okay. Okay. There should be a bathroom in there. I'm saying it's out of it's out of order right now. There's some orange tape. What do you it mean says it's do out not. Of order? It says do not enter. There's orange tape across the door. Okay, why didn't you just tell me that earlier? And I could have changed your room. Uh, you could have what? I could have changed your room. Is there the 
bathroom is out of order. It's out of order, but I'm asking right now because I have my penis out. Where in here is a good place to take a piss? I don't know. I can change your room if you want. You can come down to the front desk. We'll change your well, room. You can change the room, but I'm I'm looking at this bed as an optimal target. We're we gonna be able to okay, change rooms ahead. after this. Okay, go ahead. Do hang, that. Hang on. Hang on. Stay on the phone with me. Oh. 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 Hey, Mark. Yes. Can you, tell, can you tell me how your moped is still stolen? I love that story. Say what? Can you tell me how your moped is still stolen? I love that story. I can't even hear you. You're so fucking fat. It's like your fucking fat ass lips. Uh, fucking I think it's your Obama phone. phone. It sounds like you got a fucking dick in your mouth, you fucking faggot, because I already recovered my scooter, you dumbass fucking no, nigger. No. I don't know who the fuck you're talking you're to. You're a lie. Mark, you're a lie. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. I'm on Cameron in Tropicana, right in front of the fucking Orleans Casino. You want to get your motherfucking monkey ass beat? Bring your fucking nigger ass over here. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. And suck a fucking dick, you fat fuck. Oh, yeah. You stupid fucking nigger. Oh, you You're racist. a dumbass fat You're fuck. You're a racist. Come out in there. Hello? Yes? Yeah, I think I got you answered. My toilet is not working. Your what? My toilet. I tried what, to clean my sheets because I got Taco Bell fire sauce on them. And I put them in the toilet to rinse them, and I hit the lever, and they'd flush. And now they're stuck in the toilet. What room number are you I am one, one, five, I think. I am so drunk right now. <sighs> so something stuck in your toilet? The sheet from my bed. I was eating... Double Decker Supreme and a quesalupa, and I put some of the fire sauce and Diablo sauce on it, and it got on the sheets. And so I tried to clean the sheets and the toilet, and I hit it f- the flush, and now the sheets are stuck, and there's water coming out over the edge and on the floor. So your toilet is flooding. It now, no, it, it come over the top and on the floor when I flush now. And see, I flush, and then there's water coming over that's on the floor. What room number are you in again? I'm 115, I think. I, I, I drink the worm. I ate the worm. 115? I think so. I can't be sure. What I can be sure about is there's water on the floor, and name? my socks are wet. What's your name? My name is Charles. See, listen to this water coming up. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hello? What's your last name, Charles? My last name is Hutchinson. Charles Hutchinson. See, I flush it. I flush it and water comes up, not down. I just don't understand. It's supposed to go down, not up. Get me another beer. You guys sell beer at the front? No, we don't. No beer? I'm out of tequila. But he's not sure because you still going Hello? Hello? <coughs> the toilet's flushing on its own now. Hello? Where are you calling from? What? Will the, will the lesbian that answered the phone pick it back up? I can't hear no one. What was that? I said, can the lesbian who answered the phone pick it back up? I can't hear him. Hello? 
What motel are you staying at? I'm at the All Suites. <sighs> we don't have a Charles in our. Well, you ain't got in our directory. Look, that's me. I'm Charles. I'm one one five, honey. What city are you in? What do you mean, what city am I in? You don't think I know I'm a free one, baby. Man, I did some hard partying over in Fremont. Uh, whew, you know what I'm saying? Hello? Do you call from your office room so I can see what room you're in? I try to call from it. I tried to bring the phone in the bathroom so you could hear what's going on. And the cord pulled out of the wall and it's broke. Yeah, don't flush the toilet anymore. Just go to your... Flush the toilet? Uh, <laughs> yeah, hang on, I'm going to flush it. See, it comes up. It doesn't go down. Stop flushing it because it's going to overflood. It already comes over the top and my socks are wet. And they're my only pair of socks. Hello? Oh, look at this. That water come out faster now. Hello? Yeah, I'm here, but I don't know what room you're in, and there's uh, no Charles one, in my directory. One, one, where I find the room number? I'll help you. I'll help you out. Hello? Yeah. I'll help you. Where do I find it? On the on, outside of your door. Outside of my door. Hang on. Let me get the remote control out of my ass and I'll go look. <sighs> I, you know you can change TV channel with the remote in your ass if you're talented enough. I was flipping between ESPN and ABC like nobody's problem. I don't see no number on the outside of this bathroom door. Are you lying to me? No, it's outside of your main door. The main door. I don't know if I can make it to the lobby door to look. That's a long ways away. There's a lot of stumbling. It should outside your door. Outside. Not the bathroom door. The door you walk in and out to Come go outside of your room. Door. You know that song? No, I don't. I've been waiting for you. That's a good one. There's that guy, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase lived with two women. Hang on. I'm going to flush this toilet again. And I'm going to go oh. look. Go look for your room number or we can't help you. No, it's still coming up. The water's still coming up. How did you flush it? What, do you say flush? Hang on, I'll flush it again. Hang on. Oh, don't flush, flush it. it. Follow the orders. Are you upstairs or downstairs? I I went up some stairs. I remember that. He said he went upstairs. So he went I went up some stairs, and there was too many stairs, in my opinion. Ugh. I need you to go look at your door and see what your room number is. Right now? Yes, sir. Okay, hang on. The, the, toilet, the toilet is replenishing in the tank. I think it needs to be flushed again. Stop flushing it. Leave it alone. Okay, I flushed it. Let's go look at this door. Oh, my God. Uh, I, Leave the toilet alone. Go look for your room number. I'm coming. I'm com I left the phone in the bathroom. Hang on. I, I'm coming back to you. I got the phone. I got the phone. What does this do if I push this lever down? Hang Don't on. push anything. Go look for your room number. This place is the toilet. What's your room number? Oh, let me go look. Uh, let me look. Mm. All right. There it is. There it. No, that's not a real number. That's the TV. Do you know what a door is? I know what a door is. I ain't told a dummy. Do you have a roommate? Is someone with you? Someone with me? No. I couldn't afford to pay for double occupancy. 
I'm li- I'm looking out my window right now, and I still don't see a number. Why are you looking outside your window? Go to your door. The door. All right, hang on. Hey, I'm going to lay on this bed for a second. Ugh, everything. I got to go pee. Hang on. Do you know who your neighbors are? My neighbors? Hell no. I'm going to go. How long have you been Jesus. here? How long have you been here? Jesus. I've been here three days. For three days? Yeah. Oh, no. There's a mess what? in the toilet. I'm going to have to flush this. I don't know. I'm going to flush it right in there. Yeah. No. Uh, hello? Yeah, is, we're still trying to figure out your room is this, number. Is this the front desk? Yes. My toilet's broken. Yeah, I need your room number. There's water going up instead of down. What's your room number? Uh, two... I'm on the second floor. Okay, second floor, what's your room number? Um, I'm the one with the door. Everyone has a door. What's your room number? I didn't shut, though, because there are bugs. I don't want bugs coming in. I can't help you if you, if you don't give me a room number. Let's just go with two. That'll very help. Go to your door right. and look out the door okay. and tell me your room number. Okay, hang on. I gotta flush this toilet. Run away first. I'm in the toilet. Uh, You're gonna flush the people under you. Uh, okay, I'm looking. I'm looking at my door. There's nothing there. Open your door and look outside. Oh, you didn't and what's say your room number? Open the door. Gotta give proper instructions. A, the door, a door won't open up the door the hallway. Won't open it. It's like the hallway. The hallway, and what's your room number on I, the door? I think the door is locked. Unlock it. It's locked from the outside. It's not locked from the outside. I can't. I'm turning the handle, that it won't open. I think it's locked from the outside. Oh my gosh. There's no way to put a lock. Lock should be inside. I just have control of that. Do you have another name you go by? Me? Yeah, yes. On occasion, I go. What? On occasion, I go by Alejandro, but that's only when I'm trying to get work. Uh, oh, that's, that's, look at the sound of that flushing. That's crazy. Oh my god. Are you are you at the All In Suites in Hayward or in Fremont? I'm in Fremont. I would never go to Hayward. That place is a shithole. When you looked outside, did you see CVS or did you see another apartment in the back? Did I see CVS? Where do I look at that? Where do I find it? Hello? Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out your room, but you're not helping me out here. I'm trying to help, and I'm sorry. If I'm not helping you enough. I just, I just want to help you so you can help me. Fix the toilet. I need to know your room number. I know you need to know it. I'm trying to help. I just want to help. I want to get the toilet fixed. I got my socks wet. Hello? Hello? I w- we want to help, but in order for us to help, we need to know where you're at. What room number? I am in the bathroom. 
I know, but what's the phone number? What's the number that you're in? I can't just go I and went, knock on I went, the door. I went number, number one in the toilet. It is broke. And now the lady's yelling at me because I am too drunk to tell her where, where, where I'm at. I know, sir, but we need to know the room number because right now we have no recollection of where what room you're in. Oh, you I'm, know, and I'm I can't not, go not, and bother no, everybody no, else. No, I'm not staying there. I'm over at the Hilton. So what room are you in? Oh, I'm in the Hilton. I would never stay in your shit hole. Well, then why the fuck are you calling us for? Oh, because I was bored and I felt like fucking with you. Oh, you have a fucking good day, you motherfucker. You Call your mother. Dicks? You want to touch dicks? Zelda, this is Ashley. I may help you. Hey, Ashley. I'm trying to reach my brother in there. Uh, I've been trying to call his cell phone, but it appears to be off. i got to get a hold of him. His wife just uh, went into labor. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, can I... What? What is his name? His last name is Hunt. Uh, Hunt? For, and then what's his first name? His, his first name is Michael, but he answers to Mike. Mike? Okay, Mike. Is this a joke? No. Why? Okay. I'm just asking because I've had that uh, I've had that happen to me before with the name what? that <laughs> I oh, was just I, given. So I'm sorry. I'm not oh, trying no, to make I, a funny I, I, situation I, I guess at all. I don't, I don't know what you mean, but thanks. Okay, I'm really sorry. Hold yeah, on one if second. If you can get him over, over to the phone, the phone now. yeah. If you could place that down and get get him over, I'd appreciate it. All right. I'm sorry. I don't have anybody here with that name. Oh, he's not in there. No. Jesus. Yeah, he was going in. He was going in to get a bite for his. Uh, uh, for his wife, he was supposed to be taking it right back. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to what to do. Obviously, he's gonna find he's gonna find out that I slept with his wife because when the child comes out black, we're gonna be in trouble because we're step brothers. Oh my goodness! What? I don't understand. I had to get it off my chest. She told me I was supposed to tell him, but I can't tell him. It's an ultimate betrayal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, what's your advice to, to break it to your brother? Like, hey, one night we were both drunk. He was out of town. You know, then <laughs> happened. <laughs> and then, all right. Um, I don't know. Maybe tell him just like that. I don't know. J- just, <laughs> I, I, I would, I would hope he would understand that it was a drunken night. It wasn't something that we did on purpose. It's just. When you got you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ugh. You've never had a day like that, have you? Uh, no, not personally. No. no. So you wouldn't really have any any really good advice because you haven't been there. I don't. I don't, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I mean, I I ruined basically an 18 year commitment on their part. Well, actually, I guess she ruined it. I, I was involved, but by mistake, I may have ruined an 18 year committed relationship and that's why I don't drink Jack anymore oh, I hear ya Jack makes you do some some things you normally wouldn't do yeah I've heard that before I just don't understand how she's having a baby when all we did was anal oh geez I mean this sounds like you're in a predicament I think she has a leaky butthole uh, could be You've never had that situation after a night of Taco Bell? No, no, I have not. That is not. Oh, God, I have. But I don't have to worry about getting pregnant by a leaky butthole. (laughs) (sighs) Uh I'm so sorry. Yeah. You and me both. I got 18 more years of paying for a kid now because of a leaky butthole and a fucking Trojan condom that didn't do the business. Oh, jeez. Don't do Trojan. Goat lifestyle. That's just my opinion. Uh, Goat lifestyle? You. Use lifestyle. Because Trojan fucked me over. Damn, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's okay. It's all right. I'll just, I guess, I guess when he's cutting the umbilical cord, I'll just hope that the baby isn't as dark as it's going to get. I'll, I'll be hopeful with you. Thank you. I love you. I <laughs> love you too. I hope you have a good night. I hope it gets better. Thank you. You actually said You're it back. Right. I love you so much. Let's get married. I'm 
already married, but thank you. You you into poly relationships? I uh, no no no. Shit. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. Well, we could move to Utah and make this happen. It's legal there. To so Utah, I mean that's we could a be possibility. I guess we could be polygamist. Like you can have two husbands. I don't. I don't know about that. I need a rotation. Come on, come on. And then if you're si- do you have a sister? No, I do not. Do you I have do a not. sister? Oh shit! You know how this could have worked? Like your husband could have married on, your hold sister. Hold on, hold on. Hold that thought really quick. Both? I have to pour a glass of wine. Hold on one second. Oh fuck! You and me both. Good evening. Thank you for calling Bama in. How may I help you? Hi. Um, I'm I'm naked, and I'm wondering what happens next. I'm in my room. What do you mean? I'm in my room, uh-huh. and there's a note in here that was left, and it said to disrobe and to take off my clothes, and then it says to call to the front desk, and so now I need further instruction. What happens now? Um, a note was left in your room? Yeah, it says right here, it has the, um, it says it has the, the Baymont, like, it has a header right here. It has the header and everything, like, it's on official paper stock, and it says, by order of the front desk, when you arrive, please disrobe and call the front desk for further instructions. So now I'm calling the front desk. <laughs> um... What room are you in? Uh, I believe this is 115. Okay. Uh, now, do I, ha- I do I have to keep the AC on full blast? Because I'm, I'm experiencing some, sh- some shrinkage. Um... I don't know where that paper came from, uh, but it's laminated. Will... It's laminated, like and everything, and it's it's in here. So I'm just trying to follow instructions. I don't want to be kicked out or anything. I'm just a traveler. I'm a worry traveler. Yeah, no. Um, do not worry. Uh, you can rope up again. I will contact my manager and I will see what is happening. Um. The... Yeah, uh, I'll call you right oh, wait back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on. There's a second side to this card. Hang on. Okay, it says after I call the front desk, I must I must stay nude and come to the front. I really got to come to the lobby? No, you don't. You can stay in your room. You're completely fine. Because uh, it says right here, if you fail to meet these instructions... You will be kicked out and charged a two hundred dollar deposit. I, I don't want a two hundred dollar deposit. I haven't done anything to the yeah. Room. No, that will not happen on my part for sure. I can make sure that that doesn't happen. Uh, you can for sure row back up, and I will call you back. This is All right. I just opened this up. There's a thing on the inside. I'm so sorry. I really don't even. I can't know believe it says you. this. I know, it says on the I'm inside, so it said the front desk associate will be happy to masturbate you. It, what? On the inside, it's, full, it's like a card. I didn't bother to open because it was laminated. It says the front desk associate will be happy to masturbate you. And that's it. That's what it says. Okay, I'm going to call my manager. I'll well, I, right I just need to tell you right now, I'm a married man, and I feel objectified at this point. Let me just call my manager and see what I could do. All right. Well, I need some answers about what's going on here. Because as, yeah, as a married man, if, if, my, if my wife were to walk in here right now and see this and see I'm naked and I've been following the instructions on this card, Divorce City. <laughs> Can I give you my cell number to call back? Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Okay. Just just let me know uh, when you got a pen. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right, hang on. Because so I got a new one. All right, it is... Uh, where is that sheet I put? Oh, there it is. It's uh, 720... 
5965. And you are, you are in room what? 115. And what is your name? Uh, my first name is Drew. The last name is Peacock, like the bird. And when is your checkout date? Uh, I will be checking out tomorrow if this keeps occurring. I don't understand. I guess I need to get some answers on what happened. Under your name? Yes. And if I don't find out what happened, I may have to check out tomorrow because I can't be sexually extorted like this. I'm so sorry that that has happened. It must be some kind of joke. I don't know how. I don't know how. Did somebody play, like somebody at the front desk or housekeeping or something you're saying? I don't know at all at this point. Uh, Let me... Um, are you sure you're in 115? Because I have another name. No, I'm in 115. I checked in with a church group. With a church group? Yeah, they booked the room for me. And what hotel are you at? Pardon? I'm at the the, the Baymont. Okay, that's so strange. Um, we... Don't have anybody under your name. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't know the church group. The but they re- they reserved because I'm giving a speech uh, at the church about abstinence to a youth group on Sunday, and so they check they checked me in. So I don't know if it, it's probably under one of their names. Okay. Um. Because I'm just, I'm just telling you right now, I don't let strangers masturbate me or anything like that. Like, I, I've been married for the last 15 years. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. We should have not gotten that note at all. Uh, do you think you can get completely dressed and come deliver that note to me at the front desk? Oh, absolutely. I'm actually capable of getting fully dressed. I was just instructed by either you or a subordinate of yours to undress. At this point, I would already still be dressed. Yeah, no, I'm so sorry that that has happened. Um, we're going to get to the bottom of this tonight, and we're going to see. Okay. All right. All right, I appreciate, you I appreciate your help. No problem. All right, All right. bye-bye. Masturbation. <laughs>